Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to TFM, the fresh market. Golden Gap this morning here on August 29th. Woo, almost two more days of August, and that's it. And I thought this was a wonderful, um, good video, video to do here today because guess what? The stock opened and swished. So the funny thing was I said this morning I thought something else was going to swoosh. I thought Campbell's Soup was going to swoosh. And instead, it was this that swooshed. So you never know. But the funny thing was I did have like an instinct or a feeling this morning that something was going to open and swoosh. And instead, it was this. So here it is. It opened at 50.25, ran up to 50.50, came down here to 49. This is a dollar and a half extension in the first two minutes of the day. This is a dump into the open with huge volume. Here it is. This is a swoosh. So whenever something starts the day with a swoosh, it's really not that surprising that something would end the day with a bar like this because this is exactly what happens. What is a swoosh? A swoosh is a hard, fast, quick, immediate, definitive movement of a stock down in one direction in the first five minutes of the day. Swooshes can happen up or swooshes can happen down. In the case of this swoosh, it happened down, so I'm looking to short it. So this was a great um, trade today. If you watched it to do, it hit fast immediately, and it broke late, 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 late in the afternoon. Once again, this afternoon bleeds. It's kind of happening here in the market into the summer. is very unusual. Um, there was a nice entry here into lunch to take it down after the morning trade, the lunch, and then there was another one late. So this had one move, two moves, three moves. This had actually three moves in it today. You really could have gotten a lot of bang for your buck in this. And um, it was a little teeny weeny spready. Um, even with the volume in it today, in fact, what volume did it have today? Over three, almost four million there. Um, it had about a five, six penny spread, um, and it was like 10 cents at one point. But, you know, the entries were clear, the entries were good, and you just price your risk according to the spread, and it moved, okay? It had nice fluctuating moves in it. If you look to do this in the five minute, though, and didn't play it aggressively on the one, it was tough, okay? It was tough. So, Again, I trade in the one-minute chart in the morning, in the beginning of the day. I look and trade later time frames on the 5 and the 15 later, but I usually really don't even trade afternoon. And today was one of these days where you really could have traded this twice. Could have traded this at lunch and could have traded it uh, in the 15-minute into the afternoon period. In fact, how did the market close here? Let's want to look at this quickly. Yeah, that, that, that TFM was weak in its own, completely, completely weak in its own, even in the afternoon. Market came in a little bit, but this collapsed and broke the low of the day here into the close. So let's just look at the bigger picture here. In fact, target on the day that I had for this was 48.72. So it went past the target. It actually went a dollar past the target. Actually went to the dream, dream target. Here, here was the dream target. It went to the dream target. 87. Wow. Open as 48.10. Yeah. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? So when something opens with a swoosh on the day, it, it usually does go to the target or the dream target. That, that's how you get bars like this. And this is a big bar for this stock. This is a huge bar for this stock. It's $2 plus. Let's look at this one here. Yep. And this is just, this doesn't even count. This is some kind of weird jerky bar that happened here this day. I don't know what that is. But this is a nice big fat red bar for this. And to be honest with you, this is lower. This will break again into itself tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this broke tomorrow and gapped down again. It might just roll and gap to get down again. In fact, I'm looking at this now. It kind of looks like it's going to be like one of the, one, like the line one. I think this is going to gap down again tomorrow. Let's see what this is tonight. And if it doesn't, I think it's still going to roll over tomorrow. 85. Yeah. That's a couple pennies down here. So this trade, this day, this stock, this gap started out with a swoosh. And the beautiful thing about swooshes is it gives you confirmation of your bias on the day, which this did. And it was a nice gap in, in, in a week that, you know, is right towards the holiday period. And I kind of had a feeling something was going to swoosh today, <laughs> really, just instinct. And then there it did it. So when something swooshes, you can do the aggressive play in the morning, 
And you can watch it for silver setups in it during the day. I mean, these are the days you could trade the afternoon. Again, I just typically don't trade the afternoon, but these are the days you could. You could actually watch something if it opens in the morning with a swoosh to get a play in it later into the lunchtime period or the afternoon because they do tend to continue. They get sold off all day long. They get the big drop poof, in the morning, and then they get the hard sell off, and then they sell, 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 sell all day long, and the shorting comes in too. So I see this lower even immediately like tomorrow because this is such an aggressive bar in here. And it's kind of reminding me of the way that the line has set up where it went so big and then just went even bigger and bigger. And with three days, it was into that thing. And even the BRCM, which was big and then gapped again and ran down hard again. So this is definitely lower tomorrow. It's a watch. Uh, if you're looking for a continuation gap tomorrow, here it is, the fresh market, TFM. Great swoosh today, golden gap today. This is Melissa with the stock swish.com. If you'd like more information on how to find gaps like this, rate gaps like this, or trade gaps like this, email me at Melissa at the stock swish.com. And the next Golden Gap class is September 14th and 15th. If you're interested and want to get registered, the sooner the better. I'm taking limited people for the gap classes now so that they uh, all the questions can get answered for people. And uh, I need to save my voice, so. I want to make sure I can get to everyone's questions on the day and the classes can't go to midnight. <laughs> um, and the last class went on for three days. So anyways, anyone wants more information, email me at melissa at the stock Thanks everyone. Have a great weekend.